Happy birthday, Kern County. Happy birthday, Kern County. Kern County is 150 years old and our residents are celebrating. Hi everyone, I'm Mary Beth Garrison, your host for this edition of Inside Kern. From striking gold to striking oil, from a flooded valley floor to a planted one, Dust Bowl descendants, and of course our very own Colonel Baker and his field of dreams. Kern County is rich in history. We're rich in stories and even richer in people. First, we're starting at the birthday bash that was held at the Kern County Museum. And then we head straight to the hills and Havila, the original county seat. It's going to be a lot of fun. So settle in. I've never been to a 150th birthday party for this edition of Inside Kern. My grandfather served in World War II. Spending time with him were the best memories of my life. I became a physician at VA because of my grandfather, so I can help others like him. I can't imagine working with better doctors or a more dedicated staff. I'm fulfilling my life's mission with the help of my team and thanks to these veterans. I'm proud to be a doctor at VA and proud to honor my grandfather every day. Search VA Careers to find out more. Among the dignitaries at today's birthday bash is Senator Jean Fuller. Now I tell you, she is Kern County through and through. How long have you been in Kern County? I have been in Kern County all my life, and today is my birthday on the county's birthday. That is and so it's exciting. just the most exciting thing. <laughs> that is awesome, awesome. Now you represent us, yes. you know, at the state level. So tell us what that feels like, what that looks like, what that sounds like. Well, it's great to be from the best county. The huge number of assets that we have in this county, natural assets and the warm, warm people and the hard workers and the recreation. We have all the fun recreation. I mean, it's just, I have a wall full of pictures. People come in and they go, wow, you've got everything. You know, we really do have, our, our natural resources are amazing, but our people, what do you think about the, the gumption of Kern County folks? Well, when we go back and watch the, actually the films in the museums here of some of the industries when they first started and see how hard they had to work and how hot it was and the impossible odds, I'm just really proud of my grandparents and all of the, the grandparents and great-grandparents that were founders and pioneers here. When you speak of Kern, what is the thing that, I don't know, resonates with you the most? Oh man, for Kern County, first of all, it's the warmth of the people. People drive through here and they don't get it. People stay like a year and they never leave. If you had just a minute to talk to everyone in Kern County watching, what would you say on this birthday day? First, we are blessed with our wonderful weather today and it's just a beautiful day, a gift from God. And it's such a wonderful place for us to be together, to celebrate having a wonderful lifestyle. And Secondly, that we've all got to continue to work hard together the way we have in the past to be able to make the most of our assets and get, get under, other people to understand how hard we work and how much we can contribute to basically California's economy. Absolutely. Thank you so, so much. Thank you. Happy birthday, Kern County. Chairman Gleason. Thank you. Happy birthday, Kern County. What do you think? Sun's out just for you. Thanks for being here. There's tons of people here. It's so nice to see all of you. Thanks for coming out. You know, for 150 years, Kern County has been a shining light, leading the state and leading our nation in so many ways. So it's great to be here. Thank you very much. It's a wonderful time. Thank you for coming. We're looking forward to celebrating the next 150 years. But before we do, let's take a minute 
to think about just a little bit about where we've been and what we've done, who we are. 150 years got to mean something, right? What does it mean? Well, I'll tell you a couple things. We have the lead. We are the leading county for agriculture this side of the Mississippi. There's more innovation that's gone on in our agriculture, in our valley, in our farmlands, our crops, than anywhere else in the world. The innovation here is remarkable. It's excellent. It leads. Our oil industry, the oil patch. What a great place, what great employment, what great contributions to the strategic value of our nation as a global superpower right here in Kern County. How about our military? Our military on the other side of the mountains. What a wonderful, fabulous job they've done. From breaking, breaking the, the sound barrier, to weapons development, to ex exercising every weapon, any weapon that's ever been exercised in any combat situation from any aircraft in any war since World War II, since 1943, right here in Kern County. So thank you very much. We have a lot, a lot in our past to be proud of. We've done tremendous things. We're gonna do tremendous things in the future because of you, because of who we are, what we've done, and the level of excellence we've contributed to our state and to our nation for so many years. But before we go to the next 150 years, let's take a couple minutes today. Let's celebrate who we are, what we've done, and let's have a fun day. Thank you all for coming. Mayor Harvey Hall is not only an advocate for the city of Bakersfield, but he loves the county of Kern as well. And he is part of the birthday bash today. Mayor Hall, how do you feel about being part of the 150th birthday? I think it's terrific and to see all the wonderful people that are out today and enjoying themselves. We've got marvelous weather and Chairman Gleason got everybody off on the right step. And, you know, it's just so terrific. And there's so many things about Kern County that a lot of people don't know about. And they're going to have that opportunity to learn today. Well, one of those things is the Havala connection. Havala was number one. And now uh, Bakersfield. The Bakersfield's a city seat, county seat. And man, back in the 1874 was when that all took place. And Bakersfield won by 354 to 332 votes. 22 against votes. Kavala. Holy yeah. cow. How about that? Can you imagine what um, our county would have been had that that transaction not occurred? Wow, there had been a lot of entertainment up in the canyon somewhere. Did have to do something with those people. <laughs> Absolutely. Know. But this is a, it's just terrific, you know, and there's so much pride around here today and in the individual cities that are represented. You know, my ambulance company has been in this county now for 45 years, and you know, we're, we're happy to be a part of it. You bet, you bet. So if you had a message to send to the residents of your city and your county, what would you say? Happy anniversary, Kern County. Let's go for another 150. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Kern County. Also joining the fun at Kern County Museum for the Birthday Bash is our very own Kern County Sheriff, Donnie Youngblood. Now I understand the SO is 150 years old too. It, it is. It goes back, well, a century and a half and uh, uh, back then the sheriff's term was two years. There, there are people today that think it should be two years as well, but, uh, but now it's four, which makes it a lot more palatable for the elected sheriff. How has it changed? How has, um, you know, uh, servicing our communities with public protection, how has it changed? Well, first of all, I wasn't here the first day, so it, uh, it used to be they were chased on horseback, the bad guys, all over the southwestern part of the United States. And now we have drones, and now we have uh, computer chips and things. So we really have, it's a different world that we live in, and we've had to adapt in law enforcement uh, to stay up with those changes. Now you have quite an uh, exhibit here today. Why did you think it important to come down and be a part? Well, because we like to share with the community uh, the things that we do. And you can start over here with the bomb squad. We're, we're getting a, a call at least uh, one a week now to defuse bombs uh, that people are making. Then you see the less lethal weapons here. We're in an era where, uh, you know, we are dealing with people with mental illness and, and, uh, and everything that law enforcement does, they scrutinize. Everything that we do is on video. And, you know, quite frankly, uh, any use of force is ugly. And uh, when people see it now, they see it and they think it's excessive force because it's ugly. 
And so this is a new world for us that we're having to adapt to. I understand. If you had a moment to just tell every resident in Kern County on this 150th birthday, if you wanted to give them a message, what would you say? On behalf of the 1,250 employees of the Kern County Sheriff's Office, happy birthday, Kern County. Michelle Vance is the Economic Development Director for the City of Tehachapi, and she is an advocate for the entire Second District. Hello, Michelle. Hi, how are you? I'm well, thanks. What a great day today. It is a great day. So yeah. how do you feel about being a part of the 150th birthday? We're honored, actually. The community of Tehachapi and East Kern is so thrilled to be a part of this event. You know, for those people who never get out of Bakersfield, right. why come up the hill? Why come to the desert? Why come to the mountains? Because we're a breath of fresh air. I mean, you can't beat it. We have the bluest skies in Kern County, I believe. It's just a quick getaway. I mean, you can spend a weekend with us, or you can spend a day with us, or a half a day. We're only 40 minutes east of Bakersfield, so I think it's a, a great opportunity to get out of the valley and come up to a 4,000 feet of heaven. You know, it's 150 years strong. That's who we are. Right. What would you say to people watching about your pride in who Kern County is? Well, I think that we're all proud to be a part of Kern County. We're kind of the Texas of California. We always, you know, claim to have that fame, but um, I think we're a real community. I mean, Kern County is a community. People are friendly. People are proud to live here. There's a lot of heritage, um, and I think Tehachapi and East Kern brings that. You know, when we talk about natural resources, we talk about if it's mined, if it's if it's farmed, if right. it's what. What is our greatest natural resource in your mind? Hospitality. I think we're very hospitable. We love people, and we have this um, kind of melting pot of a diverse economy already. So I think you know inviting visitors to come up and play with us and being a part of Kern County. I think we're very, very, we're lucky. I think we're fortunate. You know, what does the future look like? It's bright. Yeah, Kern County, you know what, there's some hardworking people that live in this county. And I think that today represents that of people, you know, giving up their Saturday to come promote their town. That's a big deal. We didn't have to, no one paid, no one was paid to be here. Can you do me one more yes. favor? Can you look at the camera and yes. say happy birthday, Kern County? Happy birthday, Kern County. Mwah. <laughs> So we're wrapping things up here at the Birthday Bash at the Kern County Museum. And behind me is the old Havala Courier. Yes, there used to be a newspaper in Havala. Now why is that important? Well, Havala was the original county seat. So next up, some serious business as we attend the Board of Supervisors meeting in 2016 in Havala. Stay with us. Joyous, Joyous natal, natal day, day Kern, Kern County. County. That is happy birthday, Your Grace. Oh, oh that is how it is said. Yes, Your Grace, in the local vernacular. I'm Kristen Price. And I'm Russell Judd. And we're teaming up to create a safe sleeping environment for babies. Did you know that the best way for babies to sleep is in their own crib on their backs? This lowers their risk of sudden, unexplained infant death, commonly called SUID. You can further reduce your baby's risk by room sharing without bed sharing and by removing quilts, pillows, and stuffed toys from their crib. To learn more about Kern Medical Safe Sleep Campaign, call 326-2606. Happy birthday, Kern County. Well, Kern County is 150 years old. Administrative analyst Alan Crowder, well, he's been delving into the history books and what he's uncovered, well, I think you're gonna find it quite interesting. How did Kern County come to pass? Why did people stop here? Well, the first people to live here were the Native Americans, but it really didn't get roaring until uh, Kern River Valley uh, had a big gold strike. Uh, one of Fremont's expeditions discovered gold in 1853, and that started the streaming of uh, prospectors into the area. Now I understand there's something called the Big Blue Mine. What is that? It was a very famous and very productive mine in the Kern River Valley, one of the first big ones. 
And the way this got started was there was a prospector, uh, it was a full-blooded Cherokee Indian named Lovely Rogers. And he had a stubborn mule one day that he was trying to get out of a ravine. As, and so he picked up a rock and he was going to shy this rock at his mule when he realized he was holding gold ore in his hand. And the first nugget uh, to come out of Big Blue Mine was 42 ounces. Wow, so it was, so, a, it was, a, it was right. a big gold strike. It was a big one, big enough that it drew a lot of other miners. Uh, Rogersville was named after him, and then uh, uh, the town of Hog Eye that grew up nearby. Uh, they cleaned out Rogersville, the Temperance League cleaned them out. So uh, they formed, uh, they went to another place uh, nearby uh, where Kernville is now. Uh, and a, an obliging school teacher had laid a plank across two whiskey barrels, literally, and thus became the, uh, the town of Whiskey Flat, which later gained respectability and became current. Oh, interesting, interesting. Now, Havila. Havila was the first county seat. How did that happen? Well, Havila started when a, an itinerant prospector named Asbury Harpenny uh, made a gold strike uh, at Clear Creek which was uh, up a little bit above Kern River Valley, kind of south, uh, in the southwest end of the valley. Uh, his name was Asbury Harpenting, and he was an interesting fellow. He didn't come to the gold fields really to get rich. He came to get lost. He, he skipped out of San Francisco in the uh, early 1860s, just ahead of the uh, U.S. Marshal. This was just in the, when the Civil War was starting to get going. He had a Confederate commission from the Jefferson Davis, the president of the Confederacy, to disrupt, blow up Union shipping outside of the Golden Gate near the Farallon Islands. When the authorities got wind of this, uh, they started looking for him. He heard they were looking for him. He heard that there were a lot of Confederate sympathizers in the gold fields in Kern, in the Kern River, so that's where he went. He got this town started. It had 13 saloons. I'm not sure how many dance halls. It had a a jail eventually, a hospital, eventually even a parochial school. There were 4,000 people living in Havilah at its height. So this was uh, started in about 1864. In 1866 is when they petitioned uh, Sacramento, uh, the legislature, to, to enact legislation creating their own county. And they got Havilah made the county seat. How long was Havilah the county seat and when did Bakersfield come to play? Well, even as Havila was enjoying its heyday, Bakersfield had just begot, gotten started by Colonel Baker, who was an interesting fellow in his own way. But uh, Baker started the colony of Bakersfield in about 1863, and soon Bakersfield thrived. They didn't like having the county seat, having to chase up into Havila to get their business done. So a movement almost started immediately to make Bakersfield. What year was that when uh, Bakersfield? That was in, in 1872 they held the election. Uh, the election was actually settled in the courts in 1874. So it was two years of legal battles. Uh, the vote, uh, the, the reason was the vote was 354 to 332. Uh, Havila, the supervisors were mainly representing Havila. They got some of the areas thrown out and made the vote go Havila's way and Bakersfield sued and eventually prevailed. So then the county seat came to be. Interesting. What what a different place this would be if Havila was still our county seat. Well, it wouldn't be nearly as populated. There's just not room for enough people up in Havila. Right. I don't know how they shoehorned 4,000 people in there. It's, if you've ever been there, it's a, it's a very narrow defile. It's a, it's a little canyon. But uh, apparently it once had a mile-long main street. Oh, very interesting. Well, I know the people of Havila are very proud. Of, of their little neck of Kern County and their history, they uh, as they should be. Now, Kern County has grown by leaps and bounds. What are the contributing factors for our growth and where we are today? Well, we started uh, being blessed by a huge wealth of natural resources, the gold, the silver, uh, all these other minerals from the eastern part of Kern County. The oil that then was the, really set our boom on. But none of this would have happened without the people who had the vision and, and the courage and the perseverance and the hard work to see their dreams through. And really, if you look back at the people who built Kern County, 
They all came here uh, with, with uh, the idea of, of making their marks, and, and they stuck it out. Uh, they, it's, it's really the people who've made Kern County what it is. Now, I know in terms of population, the Dust Bowl uh, era was also a time of immigration into uh, Kern County. What role did the Dust Bowl play? A huge role. Uh, there have been waves of, of immigration to Kern County. Before that, there were the, the Braceros. Uh, and there were people who came from Mexico to, to pick a lot of the crops and uh, migrant farm workers. And then the dislocation of the Dust Bowl sent hundreds of thousands of people to California, and a lot of them to, to here to Kern County and other parts of the valley. Uh, they, they brought a, a pioneering spirit every bit as, as powerful as, as the people who come before them. Uh, and, and they've all made good, and, and, and today the, many generations stand on the shoulders of that sacrifice. They, they stuck out some pretty tough times. And, uh, they're, they're, they became educated, their sons and daughters and grandsons and daughters have become educated and have filled the ranks of doctors, lawyers, and professional people. The same as the grape strike did in the late 165. That opened up a lot of wounds uh, on both sides of the big lines. And, uh, but today, uh, the descendants of those uh, strikers have, have taken their place in the society. So what do you see the future? How, where are we going from here? We're 150 years young. Uh, what, do, what do the next 50 years look like? We all wish we knew. <laughs> if, you, if you knew what they'd look like, you could place some financial bets and win big. But uh, um, don't think, we don't think oil is going away. Uh, it's going to continue to be a pretty strategic resource. But look what we've done with renewable energy. We, we supply about half of all of California's renewable electricity right here with the wind and solar in Kern County. That's going to continue to grow. Kern County agriculture has, has thrived even within drought conditions. And so they're doing hydroponic up in Cummings Valley. And, and I know down in the valley, they are just becoming better and better stewards of that resource. They are. Uh, agriculture has been so innovative in finding ways to save water, uh, finding new crops that, that use less water, uh, using the elevation of places like Cummings Valley to, to grow uh, different uh, crops that hit a micro market. And who knew that we could grow grapes in Kern County that would make really decent wine? We can and we do. It's being done right now over the Cummings Valley. So mining, agriculture, fertile soil, and fertile mines. People wanting to do new and innovative things. I think that's our, our mantra. That's what got us where we are today, and uh, that's really going to propel us into the future. It sure is. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Happy birthday, Kern County. See that cute little dog in the pet store window? Chances are it came from a puppy mill a breeding facility that forces caged, neglected, and often sick dogs to churn out puppy after puppy to be sold for profit. Meanwhile, millions of wonderful, healthy pets end up in animal shelters. But with one simple choice, you can help. Just by deciding to adopt instead of purchase your next pet. Not only are you saving a life, you're taking a stand against puppy mills. Visit bestfriends.org to learn more. On a guard, forward, march. Happy birthday, Kern County. Woohoo! Back in 1866, Havila was the county seat. And while much has changed since that time in 150 years, our passion and love for our roots and our history has not. Today, the Kern County Board of Supervisors is celebrating that legacy by conducting business on that very spot in Havila. Let's listen in. We welcome you to the 150th anniversary of the formation of the best county in the state of California. <laughs> you have returned to where it all began in 1864 
That was when Havilah became a wild and woolly boom town, a gold miner's dream. Soon the town boasted a population of around 3,000 inhabitants, numerous noisy stamp mills pounding, ore, a rock, pounding rock into ore 24 hours a day, mercantile stores, hotels, numerous saloons, and other establishments of entertainment. <laughs> It is said there were lots of deaths in Havila, but few were from natural causes. <laughs> Havila enjoyed being the first county seat of government in 1866, but seven years later, an error in ballot counting allowed the relocation of the county seat <laughs> to Bakersfield. But we don't mind or hold a grudge much. <laughs> So uh, thank you for the invitation. My name is Jeff Griffiths. I come from Inyo County. And because it's your 150th anniversary, I will uh, accept your contention that Kern County is the greatest county <laughs> in the state of California. We are delighted that all of you have joined us here in Havila, where Kern County began its journey a century and a half ago. Recently, I asked myself, why here? The ancient Greeks who started the democratic experiment 2,500 years ago, had some ideas. In their minds, securing individual freedoms and justice for all, while doing the most good for the most people, were good reasons, good enough to start their governments. In a government, you agree on laws, and those laws are, are dedicated to three basic fund fundamental principles. Protect the natural lights bestowed upon us, by the condition of our birth, to deliver the commons and to attract the, and maintain and keep uh, an environment dedicated to wealth and job creation. If we do these three things, we will continue to prosper and we'll continue to lead the way in the state of California. So as we celebrate our history today, let's rededicate ourselves to those three fundamental principles that were laid out clearly by our ancestors here in Havila 150 years ago and understand that tomorrow is no guarantee. We need to earn it and we need to earn it every day. Thank you. And a little bit of tongue in cheek, I'd like the Board of Supervisors to consider moving the county seat back to Havila, its <laughs> original and I agree. rightful location. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mutz. It is my pleasure to read for us this morning this proclamation that is from uh, the Board of Supervisors commemorating our 150th anniversary. It begins, whereas we stole the very best parts of Inyo, Tulare, and Los Angeles counties. No, it doesn't say that, but there may be a sticky note on the, uh, on the thing as we hang it up in the room. Happy birthday, Kern County. Happy birthday, Kern County. Kern County, 150 years strong, with a colorful history and a very, very bright future. Kern County has flourished and grown because of hard work, creative ingenuity, and the can-do spirit of the residents that call Kern County home. So on behalf of myself, Mary Beth Garrison, and the entire KGov team, we thank you for joining us on this very special edition of Inside Kern. And while I may not be around for the 200th year celebration, I have a suspicion it's going to be something very special. Happy birthday, Kern County. Happy birthday, Kern!